Hey everyone, John here. In today's video, we're going to compare my Soldano SLO30 to the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. Now, I love my Soldano SLO30 a lot. It's one of my favorite amplifiers. And as I said in one of my previous videos, I want to compare this amplifier to everything. So a bunch of tube amplifiers and of course my modeling platforms as well. I did the Line 6 Helix or HX Stomp recently, by the way, which was a fun video. Check it out up here or down here if you're interested. But today we're going to compare my real SLO30 on the overdrive channel for a high gain tone with the digital model in the Quad Cortex as well as a capture. Now, some quick important notes up front that I also mentioned in my previous comparison. The SLO model in the Quad Cortex, as far as I know anyway, was not based on one of the newer SLO models that are made by Boutique Amp Distribution, but I think they based their amp model on one of the original SLO 100s. The newer ones have the depth control and they use different transformers and stuff like that. So because of those reasons alone, there are likely to be some sonic differences between this version of the SLO and the one that they modeled. And as with the Helix model, I would expect the virtual model in the Quad Cortex to sound a little bit more forward and bright. And I also expect it to have a little bit less low end thump because this one has the depth control, as I mentioned. And I really love that because you can make this amplifier sound so huge and chunky with it. In fact, it sounds way too massive and thick for a 30 watt amplifier. And most of the older SLOs did not have the depth mod. It was an optional modification as far as I know. Okay, let's start by blindly comparing the Quad Cortex Solo 100 lead amp model to the real SLO on the overdrive channel. So I'm not going to tell you which one is which just yet. And let's try to use our ears and see if we can listen and hear for ourselves which one is the real amplifier and which one is the virtual model. And by the way, for all the tones in this video, everything is going through the same Ohnhammer impulse response from the Rockbox series with the V30EN1999A speaker option to be precise on the Modern 3 mic mix. Now the real amplifier, when I was reamping it, went through my Red 7 amplification reactive load and I used that exact same setup for the capture as well later in the video. And everything in this video was done with my Quad Cortex, so even the reamping with the real amplifier. I just used a simple preset with an FX loop and ran everything through that. I started out with the real amplifier as a baseline and then tried to base the models off of that, basically. And the guitar that I used is my ESP LTD Phoenix Black Metal with the Fishman Fluence Modern pickup in the bridge on the passive voicing. Okay, let's check it out right now and try to listen really closely and then let me know in the comments down below which one you thought was the digital model and which one you thought was the real amplifier. Check it out. Okay, that was interesting. So they definitely did not sound the same at all. And I think that one of them sounded much better than the other, to be honest. Now let's do the reveal with the isolated guitars. Take a listen.
All right, so A was the real SLO 30 by Soldano, and B was the Solo 100 lead amp model in the Quad Cortex. If I'm brutally honest, I think that the real amplifier sounded much better here. The model sounded a bit tubby and flubby and a little bit too dark. The sizzle was missing, kind of, and the thickness in the low end. I did try to dial it in, and it didn't sound horrible or bad or anything like that, but I just really preferred the real amplifier here. It just has a really cool tightness and organic sound to it and it sounds a little bit more aggressive which i just really love now could all of that be because of the fact that they modeled their amp model on one of the original slo 100s who knows but in any case i do prefer the sound of the real amplifier here okay now let's compare a capture that i made of the real amplifier to the real slo 30. so again i made the capture of the amp with the exact same setup that i used for the reamping of the real amplifier. So the signal chain and the settings, etc., were identical. And again, let's start with a blind test here. Maybe I'll switch the order around from the last time. Maybe I won't. In any case, try to use your ears and decide which one is the real amplifier. Check it out. So whatever the answer is, they sound much closer this time. It's quite impressive, in fact. So I think that in a lot of cases, the capture feature on the Quad Cortex really saves the unit in terms of the quality of the amp modeling. Don't get me wrong, some of the built-in amp models are great, but others aren't so great, to be honest. That's just my opinion anyway. But if you can capture your real amplifiers with great accuracy, that's really awesome. And not a lot of other modelers do that with this high quality. Okay, now let's do the reveal with the isolated guitars. Take a listen. Okay, so again, A was the real amplifier, so the SLO, and B was the capture in the quad cortex. They didn't sound 100% identical, 
but this time it sounded much, much closer. So the capture is pretty impressive. When I was making the capture and a being the real amplifier against the capture, I did notice that the capture was a little bit more boomy in the low end and the real amplifier just was a little bit more tight and clear sounding. And also when I played single notes, the envelope felt a little bit different on the real amplifier than on the model. Basically the single notes and the higher notes just felt a little bit thicker on the real amplifier. And I also felt that the capture was a little bit undergained. So in order to compensate the lack of gain and the boomy bass, I just lowered the bass a little bit and raised the gain a little bit on the capture. But all of that aside, I think that the capture was pretty darn close. So that's really cool and impressive. So this was definitely fun and interesting. And of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And also do let me know what you were thinking when you were listening to the blind tests. Did you know which one was which? or not and what were you listening for and what sort of things were you hearing i find that sort of stuff really interesting and i do read all the comments okay that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful if you enjoyed it please drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out i'd usually appreciate it drop a comment follow me on instagram and facebook and yeah thanks again and hope to see you soon guys cheers